Just like that, RIP clutch. Uh-oh, 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 oh, no. What's up, YouTube, YouTube? It's your boy, The Zen Fiend. We're out here in the streets. My favorite hiding hole. I am after a pack of that Spearmint 6. We'll see what we can get. The two most powerful substances known to mankind for a construction worker is nicotine and caffeine. You know I like that monster. How about that Zen? Oh shoot, there he is, there he is. You hunt for them Sixers? Absolutely, what do you got? Spearman. Trade. You know, now's as good of time as any to equip the old HH. There she is, a little dusty. All her glory. A little air in the tires. Safe. All right, we got that cart all loaded up. Now we're heading off to the shop. We're gonna do a little bit of tinkering to make sure it's all in working order, and then maybe, just maybe, if we get it started, we'll take it on a little uh, midnight ride. Stay tuned. Figure out. Let's do it. Haha, <laughs> we're back in the garage, the, the workshop, with a box of zip ties, and right over there is Sean's bike, but right behind that is the go-kart. Let's see if it's got any gas in it. Nice. Bone dry. All right, so this bad boy, you kind of sit in it like this, and uh, Feet go up here, there's not a lot of room. <laughs> it's really cool, it's got hand controls, which are, ooh, a little, a little crusty. We might have to work on those. So we got thumb brake and we got thumb throttle, which I'm just, ooh, shoot. Get a little WD on there. Maybe we'll throw a squirt in this right here. Shot this a bit already. Okay. A little bit of a bend. Uh, yeah. Get that throttle out. Okay. Better. Little adjustments and a few tweakings on the throttle cable. Just a wee bit. Like that might even be enough. Giving it a little bit, just a little bit, of 91. Oil level and we're good. Nice. The cool thing about this engine, it's a Tecumseh 9 horse off a snowblower. It's got the push to start and a kill switch. I'll hold the brake just in case. Wow. We gotta change the lenses from daytime to nighttime. So that should be as simple as popping these lenses out like like so. Let's put them in a nice spot where they don't get scratched. Place your new lens in. This is kind of the tricky part. You got to get all those connection nubs to fit in the right spot. And really this is, I, I am wearing glasses. Sean doesn't wear glasses, but it's just to keep de debris out of your eyes. All right, we got goggles. We got the helmet. Make sure that sucker's tight. Headlamp because we don't have headlights. All right, that's a little better. This bad boy throws some good, some good output, so I should be able to see what I'm riding into, as long as my glasses don't fog up. Just gotta plug this puppy back into here. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, and then it should be as simple as pressing this button.
just like that, RIP clutch. But we got her moving. To start. Deduce that we need a much larger sprocket, which is what we knew last time. We just wanted to see if we can get her running. But we got a good two laps out here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh what? No! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Technical expert Sean is here to explain what just happened. For all the five-speed lovers out there, the manual transmissions, it's basically what's happening with the cart is if you're trying to drive uphill in like fifth gear, your engine's working really hard, or let's say ten speed. You're on a huffy. You throw that sucker in first gear and you can crank but go nowhere. It's because the gear's big. Bump that sucker down into 10th gear and you try and go up a hill, your thighs start burning. Basically the thighs that burn is the clutch that's burning. So we need to up the sprocket, get some more teeth on that sucker and the low end will, that's the only end we really need is, yeah, yeah, we'll have something. So. Single speed. Gotta get a new sprocket, revisit the clutch. Hopefully we didn't roach it. Oh, she's cooked. Yeah, she might have been. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where we go from there. All right, Sean, let's see that list. Let's see what else we gotta do Good. today. Oof, rough shake. Hey, burn uh, something. Burn something, the clutch. Check. Uh-oh. Well. Hey. Ugh. Yep. Well, let's prep the shopping cart. Okay. We take, got... take for a spin. Well, we did that. We did do that. We got yep. it running Get first. Running. We did have to do that. Rev the engine. Rev, we, we, revved we revved it. The we engine. revved it. Paint it green. We gotta paint it green. Uh-oh. Little camo. Perfect. Oh. oh! Even coats, even coats. Finishing touch. No, what do you think? Does does that make it road legal? If you ask me. Yeah. We did manage to paint the green, so we can cross that one off the list. I suppose put a line through that prep shopping cart. She's prepped. Make stew. That's next objective. There we go. What do you got there? Wouldn't you like to know, oh, Buster? No. I think you missed. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, Buster, let her buck. <laughs> But I bet we could start her up pretty easy. I think so. Top end only. There she blows. Top end only. It wasn't a complete loss. The steering's a little, a little wobbly. Oh yeah, the steering's terrible. Sit back down in, I'll show them. What sucks about steering with this puppy is your knees are right there. <laughs> so you ain't got much room. <laughs> whip, whip. Yeah. Yahoo. What you run? Yeah, we need a couple turtles and bananas now. Yeah, no kidding. Papa need to make a stew. Hey guys, thanks for watching till the end of the video. We forgot to make an outro, so this is kind of what you get. You get Mr. Kitty and me. First off, I'd like to thank you guys. We've hit over 34 new subscribers in this two week period since we've been uploading again. Those numbers are fantastic for us. Uh, if you guys keep up the cool, awesome, and sick growth, that would be fantastic. We're gonna do the best we can to provide fun footage for you guys to watch. The upload schedule is gonna try to be around two, two videos a week. That's our goal. Thank you again for sticking with us, especially if you're at the end of the video. Not many people hit the end of the video, so you guys are the real ones. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think of the content we're producing. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.